Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of just several events this year that are particularly significant for Twin Flames and in fact the entire planet. So what is it about this uh, week that we're going into that is very significant? Well, um, amongst other things of people continuing to come together, it is the, um, we're going to talk about March 8th, 9th, and 10th. It is the new moon. It is what I get through my high guidance, the new moon of all possibilities. And there's reasons that I'm calling it that, that I'll get into. Also, on the 8th and 9th, there is a total solar eclipse. Now, this is only going to affect certain parts of the planet where it's, um, when I say affect, I mean it'll only be visible in certain parts of the planet. About three quarters of Australia, Southeast Asia, um, parts of Indonesia, Borneo, uh, some of the islands there, um, up partially visible through most of India and other parts of Southeast Asia and the Pacific, particularly the South Pacific. Now, if you tend to look on any kind of a website that shows it, it'll look like a swath of um, darkness or, you know, they'll have some kind of color to indicate where is the total eclipse going to be visible. This one is going to be one of those really odd ones because it's a new moon, a full moon. Uh, it will actually, it would be a new moon solar eclipse. Now, last year there were a lot of fears over the past two years over these events. In fact, I had, uh, you know, several people really wondering, like, what do all these moons mean? I want to take a lot of the guesswork and the fear out of it for you. These are no different than someone unplugging lower energies, letting everything sort of descramble and plugging it in higher. Um, you get the same effect when your computer needs to do upgrades and or if you have a power outage and you get an, a, a surge and you find out, well, some things are no longer usable and some things, well, that just means you have to get an upgrade or something different. And these are times for upgrading and letting go of the old. And yet what the old people are letting go of is actually sometimes pretty bumpy. I have a tendency to oversimplify. And I do know about the things that go bump in the night. I do know about a lot of the paranormal activity that people have. Um, the dark nights of the soul. I've actually had several myself. I've lived through it with some people. And uh, it's actually been a part of my awakening of hearing my twin almost cry for me across the miles and not really knowing what to do. That was, uh, that was way back. That was several years ago. So you are and we are going to have continued ascension symptoms along with detoxing. And some of this detox is going to be rough on some people. I want to let you know something. You may hear things around you from family or friends, and your, your knowingness may say, aha, they've got an ascension symptom. And I've said this before, but I'm going to suggest something to you. Leave it alone. Because what you may have lived through over the years, um, whether it's, especially if it's really years ago, it's going to look a lot different for them. It's going to be swifter, possibly more intense, but they will live through it quicker without their head putting it together and connecting the dots. Their heart will be the one that's able to connect the dots. And so if you are experiencing waking up every night, sometimes several times a night, where you're just wide awake, you're feeling a head pressure, you're feeling something that feels very similar to a headache, but it's not a full-on headache. It's not a throbbing, pulsing headache. It feels more like pressure or buzzing or static. If you're getting woken up with that, 
that's a part of um, what I'm talking about with these ascension symptoms. You are ascending and you're coming in, you're going out, grabbing, pulling in, and you're going out and grabbing and pulling in. And every time you do, you're releasing and getting rid of things. And yet it is beyond annoying. It can be downright uncomfortable. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about some of this stuff and what do you do about it. I want to let you know because um, part of the reason I started saying you're not crazy is to let you know that some of these symptoms that you have, many people are having this. You may hear things, you may feel things, you're especially going to continue feeling things. What you may not feel are the details of what's being released. You will increasingly feel what is going on, or at least you're expected to. So some of the other things that I want to let you know is if you're waking up every night, get used to it. You may feel restless, you may feel jumpy, anxiety, irritation. And digestive system adjustments, that's going to continue here, especially to the stomach and the colon. It may be very weird. It may be anything from feeling constipated to feeling very liquidy, anything in between, food cravings, um, especially pay attention to your electrolytes. And the other ascension symptom that is very significant a tightness here in the upper body around the heart, esophagus, something that feels like asthma, bronchitis, or um, just a general tightness feeling like you're on the verge of getting sick. And you might get a little frisson or subtle hints of what this is. It may be very reminiscent of a time when you did become sick. As a child and in my uh, teens and into early 20s, I was very prone to upper respiratory. But what I do know what that is now, that's a lot of repressed feminine anger around the heart. And as we well up or as you continue to uh, feel negativity either from people or it could be your own repressed emotions. Not everything is your twins. It could be yours. Or if some, for some reason you're upset or angry with your twin. That is something that is hard to shift. How do you get that out? How do you get that tightness in the chest or the throat? Now I've spoken to a lot of people and there are sensations that you might feel along the vein here or along the jugular. You might feel like something is gripping your throat, constricting your throat, making it difficult to breathe the iron band across the chest, or another version, uh, which is sort of on the opposite end, feels like there's a propeller in your chest, and it's like, and you just want to take off. You, it's anxious, it's nervous. Um, chest, throat, heart, you have to learn how to open your channels. Okay. The March 8th and 9th total solar eclipse, which is going to be very much affecting certain parts of the world where there have been long ago and far away conflicts. Some of the very first damage to the psyche and the uh, mental, emotional body, it's getting out for good for twin flames first. And... The energy of the old 4D, old 4D and 3D masculine and feminine, we've had a lot of the 3D pop out of people. A lot of those conflicts have been the really low base emotions, reactions, etc. 4D is going to be some of what's called the patriarchy, the systems, um, how do we handle large conflicts, how do we handle um, things that happen, uh, it can be particularly religious, militaristic, governmental. And yet this is going to come out where that old reliance upon what once was, it's no longer some place that you can stand on. A lot of people have wanted to be done with that. And I want to let you know something. Right here, while you're living in a physical body, you'll be living in and amongst this. And I talk a lot about 
how do you avoid feeling affected by it? How do you truly feel detached? That's a lot of what I cover in my webinars. You're also going to be um, knowing that this energy of the old and getting out of the spirit and you're getting ready to close that chapter for good. I get a lot of, it's the end of an era. The end of an era, the end of an era, the end of an era, again and again and again for months. And there are some things that we're doing here as Twin Flames is we are getting ready to close the chapter and this will be phasing out for many Blu-ray Illumined Twin Flames who are also golden over the next two months and for uh, others up to two years, okay? And there are reasons for that because some of you have to go through the doors and bring in the proper harmonics. Basically, you are the ones bringing in the love. You have to go and bring, you're, you're able to be the conduit that transmits the love here that is able to help others light, okay? I'm going to say this. Remember always that you are the light and the love here. You're the love. You're the love. And love is more than just an emotion. It is the substance and it is your essence. And some of you may not know what I'm talking about until you actually experience yourself that way. I, I really didn't. I thought it was just an emotion and I kept saying, but I do love things. I love people. I love animals. I love foods. I, I love. I know what brotherly love is. I know what I thought romantic wa love was. And then unconditional, then source love. And, you know, it just grows and grows. But it is your actual essence. Love is the stuff that forms, shapes, and constructs. So we have another thing here. The t linear time construct for twin flames is getting narrower and narrower and narrower. And this energy that is happening here is sort of pointing the way towards the exit. You wanted your exit plan. You wanted your escape plan from some of this. You wanted to be together. There's the nearest exit. That time compression, the time will be compressing further. And that is something that we all want. Now, in a human way, it feels like there's not enough hours in the day to get all your stuff done. You can't take care of business. Your um, job both seems to drag and go too quickly. Things aren't happening fast enough for you, and yet it's dragging. Other things happen way too quickly. Well, this is the effect of your cosmic body living in quantum time while your human body is living here in linear time. That is why it feels so weird to people. Okay? And yet the time compression is something that we really want because that means that you're closer and closer and closer to, um, for some people, that two-month period, okay? A lot of people have been trounced upon, and anything that has trounced upon you is not going to be felt or perceived in the same way. And this has a lot to do with that old masculine energy. I want to let you know, you may have some kind of outburst from someone. It could be an argument. It com could come from the least likely place. It could come from someone closest to you. Your discernment may tell you that uh, this is actually something your twin hasn't addressed, which is valid, and yet you're still there to address it. You cannot care which of you is doing the work. Get it done. I want to say that to you. Get these things done. Do not arbor resentments against your twin flame. That serves to no purpose. It really doesn't. You can't hold anger or anything against your twin, I tell you. If you do that, it's like a wall going up and you lose the connection. You're going to be losing it anyway or feeling like you lose it unless you know how to open up your channels and expand 
and condense. And that is different than your shields. I know people that say, well, I put my shields up. And sometimes you have to actually be open to your own twin flame energies and receive. Now, a lot of people are taking their old relationships into their union and think, fearing that it will be the same way. Fearing that if, let's say, you're, if you're a woman and you have a male twin, that he's going to behave or do all the same things that every other man you've ever known. And that's not valid. You have to create it as not being valid. That is the paradox here, is that it's up to you to create it in such a manner that you are feeling each other and you're one and the same. That's not easy, but it's not impossible either. So I want to show you something. I've got this ball here, which is just a wiffle ball. Of course, it's blue. But I am using this to represent, for example, the heart. So as you continue to get closer and closer to your twin, you will actually feel more and more that the parts of you are coming together quite nicely. And yet every single one of these represents one of your channels. So things are coming into, you know, merging together where it's becoming one, uh, one let's say, energy of, say, heart energy, con connecting the mental energy, connecting the other parts of you. And yet when you're in situations and you start condensing, okay, you go out into a crowd, you uh, go to your family for a holiday, and, and you're just like, ooh, you know, I don't drink anymore, but pff, used to be the only way to get through this was not sober. Or you say to yourself, you know what, I still want to get high because this is intolerable. And you haven't really learned how to feel safe being open and tucking yourself in at the appropriate times. And you don't want your channels to keep constricting. You don't want everything to be balled up because that will make you feel anxious. That will make you feel as though you've lost the connection. And it will, if that continues, it feels like depression. Your, your channels are literally being pressed or depressed or constricted and will tighten up. And then it's a task again. And I will say this to you, what I've learned along the way is it is a daily, not just task, it is your daily obligation to be as good as you can be. Be the best you can be. You're not going to do it perfectly from your human body. But you do your best to get yourself as up as you can. And this is going to continue changing along the way because as you get closer and closer to your twin, there are ways that you'll have with each other that don't exist for other people. You have unique connections. You have unique access points with each other. And that's the only thing you have with each other. Everything is getting scraped out and cleaned out till you're absolutely as empty as possible and you're open vessels to hold the light and love of each other. And then the making love where it starts from up here. It doesn't start down here. It doesn't start down there anymore. It starts up here. And this is also where some people are finding a little bit of a surprise, where they will actually um, say, well, I'm here, that one, my twin is there, and, and you find that there's an adjustment period that needs to happen. So let's say that you have someone who is a twin flame, and for this illustration, I'm using a graham cracker. And you have the counterpart here. And sometimes that counterpart is blocked and cannot really see. He can't see. OK. Or we're so guarded in our heart and we've hurt each other. We've hurt each other badly. 
We hurt each other and we've repeated it in multiple lives and we just don't know. But you're, the universe somehow puts you together and you may feel like this has been a collision, okay? Now, your stars will line up and, and you'll like kind of, call, oh look, he cracked, she got him to crack. Now, she's, she's still kind of protecting some part of herself there because she's been uh, mistreated, she's been abused, or he's been mistreated or abused, he's been stabbed in the back, or whatever, and yet these situations that happen will serve the purpose both in separation and together to remove anything that doesn't belong between you two. Now, your soul is driving this so that you can truly see each other. I see you. I see you. I see who you are to me. I love you. And you're actually seeing each other. And you see only each other. You don't see the differences. You're feeling each other. What I want to let you know is when you allow and you do your part, you will progress and you will continue moving along. We are by no means done or finished come March and April when I gave those timelines in my last video or June. There's a special event going to happen in June. There's also other events this year. There's going to be another equinox and another solstice later in the year. We've got just several events here. Now, just to touch briefly on a subject that's very um, sensitive for a lot of people, the kids. I want to let you know, the kids are beautiful. The younger the child, the better they're knowing this because they are so fresh from the other side. The kids know things. They say things. People let me know through their readings what the children have been saying. They will dream the other parent. They speak of the other parent when they meet the other parent. And not only that, the other parent will know. Uh, sometimes upon seeing a photo or something, there's such a touching of the heart. There is a true reconnection there that's happening. That happens all by itself. But if you're in fear about it, and grant you, fears have been there through many lifetimes. I mean, if, if you look at just... Disney's story of Cinderella and the evil stepmother, there's a mental connotation there of stepmother equals evil. And yet, this is, if you stay in those kind of fears, or if you grew up with an abusive uh, person around you who was supposed to be in the place of a parent. But there's a thing to know. A lot of things that we are going to continue healing for ourselves and on behalf of our children, we can only do that by being together and being the divine parents that we set out to be. Um, which brings me to some of you who are from the blue and golden ray. Now, I define the blue as being from the origins and the golden as those who have already been to the new earth and are back here, okay? And out of the blue, there's also um, blue people that are here to express red, which I define as the passion, the learning, the healing, healing through arts. Purple, which is royalty and sovereign. And over the next week or so, Many of you will become calm. You'll be coming calm simply from the inside. It's going to feel like you've actually reached a level of safety. Now, other people around you may still be afraid. I've been having this happen. The blue people are gearing up here to be in their unions. And there's something really significant we're doing. And people are sensing it. People are not stupid. The people around you have their own senses. But what they don't have are fancy words. They don't have some of the factual information. They only sense that there's something big or there's something dire or there's like a sense of impending doom, that somebody's leaving or they'll have some kind of sense of something. 
there will um, you will need to hold steady I'm gonna say it again and again and again the holding steady doesn't mean so much it will mean stay still in your place if that's your guidance but it means hold steady mentally stop the scatter stop scattering your energies stop going around and meddling in people's business stop 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 your twin needs you and furthermore if we're getting to the point where the planet needs you and it's going to be delightfully surprising there will you will have further awakenings okay that go beyond what you may already know and I very strongly continue uh, encourage you continue healing and sealing your heart there's going to be still people getting away from your heart some of it's going to be the people closest to you some of it's going to be a part of your daily regime of feeling that well my children now they've got to step away um, but they're right over here and you know how do you stop people from leaning on you that's generally what you want to do the these times the timelines rather are March and April it's still March and April through June and there's a lot that's going to happen especially in the month of April and we are winding down in 3 and 4 D and that my friends I feel is the best news ever of being able to wind down and close the book on 3d and 4d so if you don't know how to do that oh please make an investment in your union and get my May 2015 webinar that I call daily living in multidimensionality because your physical body and some parts of your life will be here there's a thing that I became aware of about you know our heart energy and the time compression less of your time will feel that it's being spent here and more of your time will be felt in your real life your refreshingly brand new life that you have lovingly created with each other and I years ago I worked at a place where the about four o'clock everything would wind down and people would talk about their significant other it was really sort of amazing to listen to because one of the things I felt uh, back in the harmonic convergence of 1987 was to not participate in uh, gossip and I was remembering this and feeling like ooh, it's it's I really got to stop being twin flame bashing hour please stop bashing your twins please trust and know that the other half of you they're just like you they want love just as much as you do they've had some of the same fears as you and and that you know the the only way that you're going to really know is to get rid of the mind you know do your best to get out of it wind it down be ready to be sovereign so what I want to let you know is that this is continuing along here there's going to be quite a few people that are so delightfully surprised for the spring and in the southern hemisphere for your fall because there's there's just so much focus and emphasis on getting things right meaning getting it correct and getting it in its appropriate place making right on the things that have been upside down and collectively what have we placed our priorities on we're not placing enough emphasis on say health care children the um, you know having good parentage whatever that comp package it comes in whether it's two mommies two daddies or a mom and a dad or adopting or if you're an animal person and this is this is going to be this is this is it I mean a lot of you've been waiting and we got to get you through we got to get this we are getting it for this year and 
I really look forward to some of the things that are going to come up here. And there is so much that comes through the readings. And let me say this. Um, the new Cosmic Heart Reconnection reading that I do is actually an extension of what I used to do years ago where I ran a Heart Chakra Activation Workshop. I also have done Twin Flame Healing by Reconnection where I actually did body work on people. Um, on the table, physical body work. And now it's at the level of getting people cosmically reconnected. How do you cut through some of this karmic stuff so that the two of you really feel reconnected? And these things are going to continue. It's going to continue awakening and you might feel squeezed. You know, some of this you cannot sugarcoat. Some of it you can't make it all light and fluffy. I really wish that I could because years ago, um, I reached out to someone and I kind of naively said, oh, hey, the, you know, cavalry is here. I'm Blu-ray. <laughs> and um, I was told, but it's work. And yeah, it's work. But I want to let you know something. What you might consider work actually becomes very easy. There is a net effect that occurs with my webinars where things are very easily transmuted. They do not get transmuted out in Facebook. I mean, Facebook creates <laughs> creates snow on the television. Um, it creates snow on the radar. And you will not easily be able to tune in. And that is something that is a personal decision of how much you're going to fragment yourself or scatter yourself. I very strongly suggest to you that if you are a Blu-ray if you're illumined, if you feel, you know, that this is your time to really get focused here. If you need tools, I have them. If you need that um, effect that is assisting you to transmute so you can move forward if you're feeling stuck, I have it. And just hang on to your dreams. Pay close attention to your dreams because even though you're waking every night and you're, I'm telling you, get used to it. Pay close attention to your dreams. I, I just heard a song yesterday. It was called, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. So stop yourself from grieving if you just keep believing the dream that you wish will come true. And I'm kind of paraphrasing. That's an uh, old Disney song that's actually from Sleeping Beauty. So for, if you have a twin who is a Sleeping Beauty, get ready because... You don't have to be in charge of, of anything more than expecting them to wake up. Do your part to get your channels open. That part is on you. Getting to work your light body is what I teach. Okay? The love is up to you. You love your twin. I don't want to love your twin. That's your twin. You love your twin. I'm here to help you connect to the light and the love and teach you about the body. The body that you will be so happy is brand new without anything there to really have come between you ever again. You're not having, even though this is a sweet thing, you're not having anything come over your heart between you two ever again. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great week. Remember, whenever we have these moons, it's sort of this up and over, like get yourself up and over and let all the other stuff wash away. If you need help with it, I'm here. Reach out to me on my website, www.twinflamesmerge.com. And yes, I have a great batch of webinars that I did last year. I'm so happy that they're ready because they're right there, ready for this time. I was pushed really hard to do it, but 
kind of glad it's there now because this is all moving. It's continually on the move. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.